Titanfall 2 has 10 custom pilot slots, and for a veteran shooter player, that's a lot of temptation to stay up late at night crafting mode-specific murder machines and giving them dumb names. <laughs> not that's something that I would do. I do not require your understanding, only your compliance. But if I did, here are five loadouts you should try. Number one, the Grunt Farmer. For Bounty Hunt, the name of the game is Cash in the Bank. It doesn't matter how much money is in your pocket, when another pilot can take 50% of your earnings by simply killing you. That's where the Grunt Farmer comes in. To make tons of cash fast and get out quick. Grab electric smoke grenades, the Devotion LMG with Threat Scope, plus Ordnance Expert, so you got even more nades. The smoke conceals you, and the Threat Scope lets you peek through it, allowing you to murder all comers without being seen. This technique can be used both at farming spots and at the bank. Don't forget to bring Scorch along, the most farminist titan of all time. You're welcome. Number two, the Dimensional Sneakaboo. The only thing better than getting metaphysical with face shift is calling in Ronin to share the fun. Roll with arc grenades so you can keep your targets right where you left them when you exit the nether. A phasing pilot can cheat death while ejecting, get to the dropship more reliably, hang out in black and white while their titan drops, and switch weapons all in the safety of a completely not dubious other universe. Plus, you can blow pilots up from the inside after earning the inner pieces execution. Sploge. Roll with extra battery to give Ronan a fighting chance while closing distance. And for the last laugh, take nuclear eject and let Ronan phase when doomed, which gives enemy titans a fraction of the time to clear the blast radius. Successfully do that, and you get another titan. Number three, the silent and deadly. Despite fast movement, Titanfall 2 can be a great game for long range sniping, especially in pilot vs pilot mode. Cloak makes you hard to spot at range, or it can make you vanish from that pulse blade ping, and using a suppressed pistol, allow you to quietly remove pilots at close range. Pro tip, if you can find the pulse blade, you can actually destroy that too. And don't forget Power Cell to let you cloak more often. For the final touch, low profile will hide your jump jets. For plan B, always take a boost with you, like an anti-infantry turret or a wall, to help you escape if you're caught and have to boogie. Number 4. Such an AWOL. Hardpoint can be a game of sit and wait. Well, so can other modes. To enhance your sitting and or waiting capability as a pilot, not being shot helps a lot. With two impenetrable walls, the AWOL and hardcover boost covers your nuts and butts, plus amps outgoing damage. The only other thing a pilot could ask for is a legion with a titan assault ship at his or her side. Note, this loadout may even save you from a nuclear eject. And finally, number five. This archer gets high as frigate birds. Sometimes a titan battle goes horribly wrong, and you find yourself out of your favorite mechanical death machine. In that case, on most maps, your job is to get up high and rain archer rockets on the remaining enemy titans. Nothing gets a pilot higher than the grapple hook, the hover ability, and the archer launcher. Make sure to bring the anti-titan turret boost with you, so that even if you die, you may get the last laugh from beyond the grave. Titan is ready. And those are my five favorite pilot loadouts. What are your dumb names and great strategies in Titanfall 2? Let us know in the comments below. And for more coverage of Titanfall 2, stay tuned to GameSpot.com.